up guys? Welcome to my channel, Tarot by the Intuitive Teacup. My name is Annie. I welcome you to come into these tarot readings with an open heart, an open mind, and a desire to better yourself. This is optional advice or guidance meant to motivate you, empower you, inspire you, uh, and offer you confirmations on things that you are already thinking and feeling and sensing. If you don't resonate with the material that comes through, please push those messages aside. They may resonate for you at a later date, and they may not. Have faith it's going out to someone who needs to hear it, even if it is not you. Use your logic, your discretion, your discernment. Separate what is meant for you and what is not. Uh, I come at this with love and positivity, so please take that away here today. You are responsible for all your own actions and decisions. Let's try and have some fun uh, to get you some insightful messages. Check out that box below for the decks I use, how to contact me for a personal, as well as my social media links. Welcome to the tea party. Let's read your tarot cards. Lil Sips, mini love tarots. We're going to start off with Aries. Aries. <clears throat> Aries in love. Tell me about Aries person. <clears throat> All right. So Aries coming off in your, your person spread here. Um, they're working to make some sort of uh, important offer to you. Um, this is trying to like kind of ascend the mountain, get to the top, push through some boundaries and obstacles. But it seems like once they get there, they have something really good they want to offer you. This to me doesn't seem like someone who's married. It's the opposite. This seems like someone who's looking for long term commitment or long term compatibility, uh, long term engagements, you know, back and forth with their person. I think they're they're either they have their hands full with something. It could be family drama. It could be something Something at work but this says to me once they can kind of like uh, finally catch their breath and kind of breathe a little bit they're wanting to make some important um, some important offer to you or just a communication that actually means I'm sort of hearing like you mean the world to me so again even if this is new or you haven't met this person yet if you if you start clicking with someone and dating around you may meet someone who actually has a really a whole lot of love to give a whole lot of love <laughs> I'm here on the uh, the Led Zeppelin song so where are you at? You're you're waiting for your water sign, your Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Um, for some of you, it seems like the water sign may be kind of circling around and seeing what's out there. I don't know if you recently broke up with a water sign. If that's the case, it kind of feels like they're they're roaming around. I, I don't think they're just sat at home thinking about you. I think they're kind of seeing what's out there and truly trying to, if you guys decided to take a break, that's sort of the vibe I get. I don't necessarily think this is infidelity because this says to me there's something that isn't in your life currently. So this wouldn't, for you, this wouldn't be someone you're currently with. This will be someone else maybe you're thinking about if you recently got, again, divorced or left a water sign of Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. They're kind of off to the races with something else. I don't, let's see if, are they with a person or what's the deal here? Because you seem to be pining after a water sign. And, and again, this could be the same person if the scenario makes sense, right? If you're dealing with a water sign who's just very busy, but you know, you guys have been together it's feeling good and you're waiting for them to take it to the next level it could be if you're waiting for big proposals of engagement you know the king of cups the king of cups could potentially make this offer for others of you i'm sort of sensing there's someone interested in you and then there possibly might be the one that you're kind of hoping circles back to you so uh, tell me about the water sign over here aries is and some of you are concerned about your children. I, you feel like your, your child is too sensitive or they might be being bullied or you may be having issues with, with your child, like behavioral issues, but more the more in terms of you're your feeling bad because your, your child's having like a, a difficult time with something. They could be struggling at school. You're wanting to be a, extra sympathetic and compassionate towards your child. Um, they, they may even have like a learning disability or something like that. <clears throat> Yeah. Okay. So uh, again, the, the, it, it's, it's sort of a, a, uh, <laughs> there's two messages coming through. So you have to choose which, which scenario fits you best, if at all Aries. Again, there's the one who, if they make it through this last little, you know, thing at work or the family drama or taking care of whatever needs to be taken care of before they can commit their time to you, they will. The Knight of Pentacles will get it done. Again, it's not going to happen instantly. You're being asked to be patient, but Will this, will this King of Cups make good on, on making you a big offer? I would say yes. For others of you, if you are, I am wanting to say, uh, rose-tinted glasses of the past, being very sentimental about someone you, you genuinely had a lot of love for, I think this, this person is trying to make head over heart decisions and be very practical about how they move forward, but I do sense that they're sort of engaging in seeing what's around in terms of other romantic options. So are you first, uh, like the priority on their mind? I would say no. 
Um, do they still think about you? Yes. Um, so, so if this is a recent, recent ex or a recent split off, what can I tell Aries? Will this person come back? Will they reach out? Let's say in the month of December, short little, little mini readings. Probably not. Silence. I'm getting, yeah, like a uh, deafening silence. That's, that's sort of what I'm hearing. And then this person, if you're looking to take it to the to the next level, possibly engagements, um, whether and it could be, yes, wedding ring engagements, but it could also just be like, hey, let's, you know, let's be exclusive. Let's make this a thing. Like, you know, will you be my boyfriend? Will you be my girlfriend? That kind of cute vibes. Interesting. Eight of Swords is wanting to show. So that to me says a lot of my Aries, you're like monkey in the middle. You may have to make it. This could very well be you right deciding to let go of the one in the past it could be a cancerian or a pisces specifically the one who i, I again I, I don't see that you guys are together it's more just like you're like i hope they come back i'm not saying it never could you there's not terrible cards but i think your eight of swords because you're still possibly dealing with that it could even be the you know a lost family member or someone you're out of touch with socially even a best friend but uh, something about it is impeding on you moving forward with what could be like a really good relationship so uh, just sort of the, my reading of the cards is that looks a lot better uh the like situation a that i read for yeah winter your your love life could potentially take off in winter so again if, if you're looking to date if you feel it is safe to go out and meet people in winter this this offer is being made yeah you you need to make a decision um to to release the past and engage or invest more time in the future um possibly with a capricorn yeah i definitely see there's there's good luck with a capricorn in your future or again possibly currently if you're with that person now Others of you, there could have been a Virgo or a water sign that has walked away, um, but you're sort of obsessed with them. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Um, so anyway, all right, that's what I got for you, Aries. We will move on to my Leos. I'm going to make good on my promise. These are mini, mini tarot readings. <laughs> and if that's not your story, check back next time. I'll do, I'll do some more. So <clears throat> these are not uh, long term, you know, these are like month energy readings, so. Leo, for my Leo squad out there. Leos. Leo, Leo, Leo. All right, let's get a, ooh, Ten of Swords. All right, ending. Uh, do we want to take that card? All right, give me a story for Leo's person. So Capricorn that you're holding on to or someone that you may be obsessed with, but oh uh, yeah, there's liar cheater vibes there. Um, so then you are being asked to transform and maintain your status as a badass queen of wands and yeah, find a better offer. This story is very clear cut, Leo. So again, it won't be everybody's story. What flew out of the deck was, ooh, something ended here and it was not pleasant. This is not an, a card we look forward to, but ultimately silver lining, you know what I'm going to tell you, we walk away with the lessons, right? So we were maybe approaching love in a lower vibration way we weren't valuing ourselves we were letting kind of um sexual obsession factor into it whatever this is your person's cards are very not strong i don't it especially together all these cards have redeeming values individually but together even if you are dealing with a capricorn i don't like this it, it yeah it's someone who likes to steal from you does that make any it, it could literally be someone who stole some possession from your house especially if you live together or broke up they may have taken what was theirs only they took more than what was theirs i'm literally getting like a theft um, you know, you could also view it through the metaphor of, you know, they broke your heart, this and that. You're holding on to some sort of obsession. It's it's like a darker energy. It's a shadow side. It could quite literally be a Capricorn. You have two cards of Capricorn. Nonetheless, it doesn't bode well. This is like, nope. <laughs> this card does not really say, oh, but the redeeming qualities or, oh, you know, the silver lining to the pert now. This is like, so I'm going to do another one for you, Leo. But ultimately, your guidance and your message is, release what needs to be released and don't question it if if the universe brought an end to something whether you um were a uh, i'm hearing like co-conspirator whether you agreed with that ending or not you know it, it could have been very painful and very hurtful for you this is saying this is a a um moment for you to step into your power and transform into the next cycle in your life because you've outgrown it there's no need to linger in this energy it's understanding okay it was taken away from me for a reason i don't understand that reason but i have faith there's someone else out there if i keep moving forward in my power with my confidence recognizing my beauty my value my ethics my morals all that then you have king of pentacles so you will heal from this if you are currently feeling like this leo this energy does not have to last any longer than you want it to give yourself a break be kind to yourself um, understand that healing is a very personal process you're not just going to snap your fingers and feel better you need to hold yourself accountable 
for the healing process, but then you're going to move on and I, I'm literally getting, you're going to be okay. You're going to be just fine. And of course you are, right? Look at your track history. You're here, you're showing up, right? Your track record, rather. Look at your track record. You, you've been through shit before, Leo. This is not the first time. So let's do another spread. Uh, if that was not for Leo, or let's say if, if Leo is able to heal from these wounds of, yeah, I, I like I'm, I'm not allowed to curse in these videos anymore because I got in trouble on YouTube. I, I want to use a lot of nasty words, though, to describe this person like a, a mother effer. That's what this feels like. That it's a lot of it's a lot. OK, let's talk about this, though. That's bottom of the deck. Let's talk about the romantic one. So let's either connect with a new group of Leos or if Leo chooses to engage in a healing process for themselves to better themselves. What can they expect, let's say, in the next month or two? Or whatever. I I'm not going to put a timestamp on it. Give me a new person, please, for Leo. New person. Oh, Nicole wanting to build with you. Mm, we'll see. And tell me, tell me about Leo's side here. Oh. Two of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. Okay. <clears throat> and what's between them? Okay, yeah, I, I'm getting kind of the same storyline. It, it could even be with a different person. I have to be honest, Leo, what I'm sensing from this is that from this this brutal ending with an ex or whoever this was, sorry, my computer's like going on and off. There we go. From that ending or whatever it was, I think you are going to, I hate to use the term rebound, and I don't necessarily mean that it has to be sexually motivated. I have to be honest, for some of you, it does feel like it's going to be, and that's okay by me. Just make sure it's okay by you and your spiritual path, right? Um, I think there's going to be one in between the next one that actually feels right. I think you're going to go from this one to this one. And you, again, all the cards are indicating, eh, like, it's okay. Like, it felt good at the time. But I think when it comes down to do I actually want to date this person, you, Leo, I think are going to look at this next candidate and be like, they're fun, but I'd like, I, I'd rather just be alone. Like, I don't necessarily want to be committed to building with this person, I'm probably going to cut it off. So yeah, again, kind of trudging through the snow barefoot. It's a card of hardship. It's kind of a card of making your way through the snowstorm, right? Um, then again, I think you do meet someone who's like, hey, I'm interested in Leo. I think they're cool. I would like to build with them. I think you're going to be like, I think you find them interesting. They're probably a very good conversationalist. But in terms of is there passion there? Is there love there? Is there romance and flirtation? I think a lot of you are going to be like, no. <laughs> so again, it feels like a, a stepping stone into finding someone who's actually very right for you. And you can avoid this entirely. I'm not saying you even have to engage in this like next one on the list. I think a lot of you will. For a lot of you, this could almost be like a friends with benefits type situation where maybe you revisit this because you're newly single off of this one. And it, it's kind of like the same thing. Like maybe you go in optimistically like, oh, maybe I'll feel different this time. Or, you know, don't shoot the messenger. Maybe you, you like the attention, right? That's that's okay, but you know, I'm not judging you. I do think this is going to lead to one or both of you with the same results of like, eh. I think your person is far more interested in you here than you are of them. Um, so give me one more on this, please. You, okay. I think this is saying you, uh, you may be jumping in too quickly because from whatever this breakup was, which I do absolutely see ending, I just have to be honest. Again, you, you may kind of do the rebound thing or put yourself out there too quick and not do the healing work. In which case, I hate to say it, but you might sort of be sabotaging yourself a little bit because you may still be thinking about that past person who really, who really did a number on you and it, it hurts a lot. And so you might still be sort of be like, you know, almost wanting to fill their place with a new person, with a new face, with a new body, but it's like, like none of that is good for you. I, sorry, Leo, I know this is a harsh one, but poor Leos, I know I'm so hard on you guys. I don't mean to be. I think you guys are having a tough few months. A, a lot of my Leo readings have been tricky lately, so. So there's this, though. So this card is very great. In fact, I associate this with Leo and Cancer, so possibly something with a Cancer may pan out in the next couple months. You may have a Cancer pining over you or vice versa. If this has nothing to do with, I do want to say for a lot of you, Capricorn or a Scorpio, maybe an Aries, maybe a Virgo, someone in the, someone in the past who like, ouch, that one really hurt, right? It could be that someone new comes in, possibly a male air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, doesn't have to be. You may be blocking that because you either caught feelings for a new cancer and the feelings aren't reciprocated, or you're just, um, again, like kind of fantasizing and going back to the past with a cancer where 
it's not here now, but it could be in the future. Or again, it could have been a, a, a past life lover or a, not life, but you know what I mean, in, in another... But there's strength there. So, okay, so something about that of the three, because I'm looking at three different scenarios here. We got this guy, we got the, and it could be girls, of course. You guys know this, right? Non, non gender specific. We got this one, no, Ten of Swords. We got this one, Five of Pentacles. Again, kind of like, ooh, this is a, this is awkward. And then we got this one where it's, it's Four of Cups, which is not a death sentence, but it's like we have to revive this and get it to be healthy again, or we have to mix it up because it's plateaued, it's become boring. Or again, I'm pining after that person of the past because I still have love in my heart for them, but I, I have to be strong, I have to take courage, I have to reach out and express it. So of the three, I like that the best, and again, I do see that possibly with a cancer. All right, Leo, I'm trying to make good on my promise of, uh, yeah, in fact, Wheel of Fortune was bottom of your deck, so have faith. I'm trying to make good on my promise that these are going to be short, mini love tarot. Lil Sips, mini love tarot. All right, should we do it? <clears throat> Sagittarius gang, are you with me? Happy birthday, guys. I hope you're having a good birthday season. Let's read for your love life. All right. For Sagittarius, your person, Sagittarius. Your person has their walls up, um, but they are still interested in you and spying on you or vice versa. Ooh, gosh, these are rough cards. All right. So what's the deal here? Sagittarius, this person, they're guarded. Yeah, I, they're guarded. I don't think they're wanting to talk about something because there's shame or there's embarrassment about how they treated you. Um... It, it, I'm almost getting it would be easier for them to communicate, but they're choosing the hard route. <laughs> it, I think it has to do with ego. It has to do with pride. You might be dealing with a Leo or another Sagittarius, poss possibly a Taurus. It, it's like they part of the solution, I think, would be to communicate and admit something, but they would have to admit fault, and they're not wanting to do that. So tell me about Sagittarius in this, in this connection then. So you, you have a Cancer or a Pisces that you're wanting to message. In fact, there could have been a third-party situation. Um, but, but this person may have their back turned to you. They, they may have cut you off. They may be engaging with an air sign, specifically a Libra. <clears throat> or that could be you as well. Hold on. Refocusing my energy. All right. So Sag's person, Sagittarius's energy. And feel free to reverse them, but are you, okay. So you may have a Libra or a Cancer messaging you or vice versa, but it's blocked. There's something there right now where it's not happening the way it's supposed to. You know, I see a lot of you reaching out to this person, but again, they're they're muting you or they're keeping you on silent. They could have turned their back on you because they're they're um they're engaged with someone else. There's a lot of everybody's looking at somebody else in this vibe. So I'm gonna give you guys another one, but let me finish this out. So I don't like I already feel like there's too many people involved, so I'm confused about who's who. Give me one in between this. In terms of, uh, like, the love here, is that what's going on? Knight of Swords. Yeah, so somebody said something or did something too impulsively, and now they're having to go back and fix it, only they're not fixing it. I'm almost getting it's like a standstill. So this could even be for a couple who's been together for, for many months or even possibly years. I'm not saying it's the end of it. I don't have any ending cards, quite frankly. It's almost like we're right, we're in the thick of it. We're in the, the middle. But I feel like... Both people need to communicate, and this person is not communicating. They're spying. They're looking at it. And this person is quite liter literally receiving messages and going silent on them, going cold on them. The Queen of Swords in this particular spread is kind of a harsher energy. It's like she's turned her back. She's cold-hearted. So if that's you, Sagittarius, I, it's almost like I'm done putting in the work because they're not treating you right. Uh, this person does seem like they either have a big ego or they don't like to admit fault. So it's just kind of what's in the middle is like a harsh exchange of energy and words and not always thinking before we act it's going off of impulse so there's you at the bottom of the deck it's like it needs healing what's coming up for Sagittarius is options and love so no one advanced Sag and I can tell you this 1000% for those who relate to this this is not your only option in life and I don't have to tell you that what's coming up for the Sagittarius no matter who you are in this spread is options about about lovers. Uh, it could also be illusions about the person you were with or thinking about. Like, is it real? Is it tangible? Some there's there's really good cards with a Leo and a Virgo and a Cancer. Um, yeah, two cards of Leo. So again, you might not know who these people are yet. They may come in in the future for you, Sag. But I see quite literally Sagittarius having romantic options. This to me is like a really beautiful card. It does talk about like longevity in relationships and romance and passion. It's not platonic love, um, but it does also talk about kind of like a 
a kinship that's just more than hit it and quit it. So if you're looking for something very basic and casual, this is probably not the card you're looking at. Um, but, you know, I, I, I don't know. I don't know all the details, Sag. But you have four major arcana here, so it could be that you're going to have so many options it's giving you anxiety. Not so much anxiety, but it's like, oh, like I, it's like you're, you're hitting, you're swiping all the dating apps and all of a sudden you have four people messaging you a lot. And this could be you, too. You may be going silent on people because it's like you're trying to whittle them down or distance yourself from the ones who have been, um, I'm sort of getting the term competitor, who have been outsmarted or outwitted by the other. I don't know, Sag. All right, it's your birthday. Let's do one more for you. So <clears throat> I have to be honest, it started off confusing, so I don't, I don't love that one, but we'll give you another one. Um, it got better at the bottom of the deck, but it seems like right now you guys have a few more things to sort through. And I feel like you were December monthly, like your love was a little bit, it was complicated. So we'll, we'll see what else comes through. Let's try and connect with either a new, a new gang of Saggies out there for this reading, or let's try for a more clear message. So universe, help me out with this. Lil Sips Mini Lep Tear. Sagittarius, what are you doing for your birthday? Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> All right, here we go. Sagittarius. Okay, so yeah, again, I'm getting like frozen ground, like we're at a standstill. It's it's it, it's cold. Something about a, again an air sign. I I got air signs in both readings, especially in terms of them either turning your back on you or going cold on you, going dark. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you could be dating someone who already has a uh, a young child. <clears throat> Uh, this person may have said something to you that was very um, harsh and uh, indicated that you didn't know what you want or that you were um, flaky or flighty. Again, I'm not saying that's true. I'm saying they may have communicated to you, you act like a child or you're not responsible. And this could easily be the the father or the mother of your children. They could be saying, you know, you need to grow up. You know, like I'm, I'm sort of getting a very har harsh words that kind of, it, it, it cut deep. Uh, I don't love that. And then there's an entirely other storyline here. So let me read for your yours on that, and then I'll go into the other one. All right. So their struggle with a cancer probably in that one. Let's see. Okay, so that has an ending on it. So that to me is like, I don't even need to read for your energy. Universe is saying no. So if any of what I just said, a, a thing about, I said about the harsh exchanges of the words, possibly involving a child or calling you out being childish, universe says no. Like, that's not how this person should be treating you. Like, leave them in the cold. That, that's where they're going to stay. Um, the last thing I do want to say about this one scenario, though, is that in the winter months, I know it's not snowing where everybody lives, right? But in the winter months, if that makes sense to you, um, there might be a male air sign for a lot of you. It could be a female, but for most of you, I do feel it is a male air sign. Um, messaging you with like warmth, with uh, flirtations, uh, communications that have a little bit of... Um, I don't even know if I'd say like a sexual nature to them, but it's a little bit more than, hi, hope you're having a good day. It's it's flirtation. That's what I would say. There could be a, a male air sign, probably not brand new because it is a page. It's not an ace. So in the winter months, the only kind of, um, if we completely disregard this, there could be an, a male air sign communicating in the winter months. And again, it's like lighthearted flirtation. So, all right, one more about Sag. <clears throat> okay, nice. I like that. Ooh, there could be marriage with a Taurus. Um, yeah, there could be a Taurus who's ring shopping for you or vice versa, Sagittarius. You could be shopping for a wedding ring or some sort of engagement with a Taurus, uh, ascending to a higher level with your romantic partner. Um, yeah, some, okay, so someone's coming towards you possibly with a proposal. Yeah, a, a relationship that offers you great reciprocity and victory. I love this. It's, uh, it's, uh, flanking with two sixes. Generally in tarot, we like sixes. They're victories. They're small wins. Uh, very much cards of, of, uh, of marriage, of commitment, of tradition. Again, a card of Taurus. Possibly another Sagittarius could be here in the mix. <clears throat> Again, I, I'm seeing single parents involved here. Um, so you guys, you guys have may have already had a child together before getting married, or something of the sort. You, I, this this is so random. But you may have even gotten like a dog or like a pet together. That's that sounds like you guys something you guys would do on a date. Like let's just go buy a fish together. We'll have joint ownership of the fish. It's something about a pet, or again, it could be a child or some piece of property that you, you mutually share back and forth. I suppose it could literally be land property. I don't know if this makes sense to anyone out there. I'm just hearing it, so I'm saying it. Um, 
but it's, it's like you already have something in common that is mutually owned. It could even be a car or something. It seems like that in itself is setting you guys up to kind of keep this relationship going. The thing is, though, I think you enjoy it. I think it's by desire. It's not necessarily like joint custody of the kid, even though you got divorced. I'm not really sensing that. That could certainly be your scenario, but this seems like you're you're taking it to the next level. Um, yeah, that's, that's what I got for you. Possibly with a, a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. They may live at a distance, so there may need to be a, a moving in together, or maybe that's what this is. It's like, okay, maybe you guys are moving towards shared property. That could be, you guys might be moving in together or something like that. All right, Sagittarius, that's what I got for you. Um, if you've made it this far, please like, share, subscribe, and I will see you very soon for more tarot. Bye, guys.